New at six, this Waldo man says he's out to scare off wildlife and stray animals on his property. His neighbors say he's scaring them. One neighbor said after calling police and elected officials to no avail, they're fed up. They wanted to stop. Fox Force Malik Jackson is live in the Waldo area of Kansas City where this is happening. Malik, you spoke with him today? Yes, Lauren, that is correct. His name is Chuck Davis, and tonight he's not shying away from what he's doing. In fact, he has a message that you just heard for his neighbors. He's not shooting at the animals to hurt them, but just to scare them. But according to police, what he's doing is illegal. People are scared to leave their animals outside. They're worried about his, their pets, and they're worried about their children. And you can see right here Chuck Davis loading his BB gun, ready to fire. Working for you, we took this Waldo neighborhood's concerns straight to the source. Your neighbors say that you've been shooting animals with a pellet gun. Oh, yeah, I did. I do. Why do you shoot people's animals with a pellet gun? I don't hit the animals with a pellet gun. It's a little BB gun. But according to the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, what Chuck Davis is doing is illegal. Just about every day I am home, he is outside shooting. One neighbor we spoke with scared to put her face on camera in fear of retaliation. She says she's made several attempts to reach police and says, quote, they haven't seemed too concerned. He needs to stop. Um, if that happens, someone can take his weapon away or whatever needs to happen. Um, so that he can't, doesn't do it anymore. That's all it is. It's a little BB gun. That's it. And it's not very popular. Neighbors say the firing seems careless, but Davis insists he just targets animals that get on his lawn. Most of the time I don't even hardly aim at it because all I'm doing is just making the sound with it and sh the the little pellet will go to the side somewhere and everything. Besides, as soon as they hear it, they're gone. <laughs> and even as his neighbors plea for this to stop before it escalates, Chuck Davis is defiant. My message to this neighbors is know what the hell you're talking about, then report it after you know what the hell you're talking about. And we reached out to police asking why nothing has been done, even though his actions are illegal. KCPD tells us the male in question is very elderly and they will be working to contact and to contact him and determine if any resources need to be allocated in addition to any legal steps that could be applied. And for more information, you can go to Fox4KC.com and click on this story.